chocolates in the bird bath. The birds must have dropped them, but I think I recognise them. They look like some sort of potosporum. That's what they look like to me. So, so the currawongs or something must have dropped them. But I think there might be some type of potosporum. I'm going to plant them anyway. They look like chickpeas, don't they, at first glance. I'm going to plant them. I recognise them from, in my memory. I've seen them in bush tucker books. Are they some sort of potosporum? Perhaps somebody can tell me. I'm going to plant them. I would have thought they would have come out of the bird's intestinal tract a little bit more digested, though, unless some bird just brought them here to eat and um, was splashing them in the water. I have seen birds squash... Um, wormwood leaves and then swallow them and gargle them and purge themselves as an anthelmintic with um, wormwood leaves so you never know but I think these are let's try and break some of the skin I think there's some type of potosporum an edible type full of seeds I don't want to splash it all over the camera do I Let's open it up, yes, as I thought. Oops. There are little seeds inside. I can't see what I'm doing, but that's not unusual for me. Look at that. I think that's some sort of potosporum, some sort of bush tucker. Please let me know if you know bush tucker experts. I'm going to plant those to plant. <laughs> I'm going to plant those seeds anyway and see what happens. They look juicy if they were eaten. A parrot must have dropped them here. I know a tree like this a few miles away, but that's a couple of miles drive to get there. Somebody brought these here. Anyway, let's see how they go. I'll go and plant them and I'll report back to you in a year or so. What is this strange new plant I've found? Look, I've got no idea what it is. Look at it. Can anyone tell me what it is? Are they phyllodes? What is this strange little plant? What is this plant that I found? If anyone knows what it is, please tell me. Looks like it has a berry of some sort. What would it be? That's what the leaves look like. It's not a member of the Solanaceae, is it? Look. Look, I found this tiny little this shrub growing on the estate. And I'm wondering if anyone knows what it is. Are they real leaves or are they phyllodes? I don't know if it's a native. I don't think it's a weed because if it were a weed it would be growing everywhere, wouldn't it? And it's not growing everywhere. It's very drought resistant because I saw it surviving last summer. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was another plant that had been doused in weed aside and was growing in a deformed fashion. But it's definitely... Um, well, I don't know what it is. If anyone knows, please tell me. I think it's a native of some sort. It looks like it has a berry. It's not a member of the Solanaceae, is it? Side on, it looks as if it's going to form a berry. I have to keep an eye on it anyway. The flowers. 
I can't make out what family they belong to. They look a little bit Kurajongi. Also a little bit like tea tree, but that's just the flowers. I've got no idea. If you know, please tell me. That's what the leaves look like. They don't seem to have much smell or anything, the flowers. Anyway, I do like to find new plants growing. But I also like to know what they are. I'm, I suspect it's a native of some sort. Look at them, aren't they pretty? Anyway, they'd make a nice little design for an embroidery. If you know what they are, please tell me. I think they're going to form a berry, yes. Well, what would I do without the internet? It's definitely a Potosporum. It's Potosporum filirioides, filirioides, Potosporum filirioides, or uh, uh, also known as Potosporum angustifolium, I think, just from memory. I'm not sure how to pronounce filirioides, whether it's filirioides or filirioides. Depends on the spelling, too. But it's uh, well known to the Aborigines, Australia's first people, as Gumby Gumby is one name. And uh, it's been nicknamed native apricot. If you look at the footage that I just showed you a minute ago, it does look like a little apricot when it's cut open, a little miniature apricot. But it's, uh, it's sold by bush tucker uh, uh, shops and things online. But it's um, not exactly a bush tucker, it's a sort of bush medicine. So Australia's first people use it as a medicine. It might have some culinary uh, use, but I'm not an expert, so I wouldn't advise you go eating it because I think it can be toxic if used incorrectly. So there's little Gumby Gumby, and it's growing on our place, and that's wonderful. A bird must have dropped it, I suppose. Anyway, I'll just put all this footage up unedited because some bot botanical people and bush tucker people out there might like to know what Gumby Gumby flowers look like. It's winter time now, and they're blooming in winter. Gumby Gumby bloom in winter here in the Lachlan Valley where I am. And they've got long leaves that look to me a bit like fire loads rather than leaves. I'm not an expert botanist of course. And they have a bit of a fragrance but I can't tell for sure because I've got hay fever. But aren't they lovely? Wouldn't they make a beautiful embroidery? And well known to Australia's first people for thousands, tens of thousands of years as a bush tucker bush medicine. See you then.